Hi everyone, as you can see, we have a fine weather outside and I know it's a pandemic, but we have started to like go out for errands and I know that also vaccines are going to come in out soon and that you should better be prepared for the time that when we're going to go out again. So I'm going to share with you how I normally do my day makeup. This is usually how I wear my makeup, especially if I'm just going to go to, let's say, to a mall to buy something, do grocery or um, airport look. Like, I don't want to, like, I want to make it seem, like, natural. And I just want to highlight and emphasize all my facial features. So, here we go. It's just, a, it's just simple, easy steps. I would normally use a regular sunblock, but for this type of look, I'd always like to use a BB cream with SPF of at least 50 to protect my skin and at the same time to also hide all my skin imperfections. Also use as a foundation as well. First, I apply a color corrector on my dark circles just to cover my eye bags. See? Look at the magic of the color corrector. Then I apply my concealer that is one tone lighter than my skin because I'm also acidic. I apply a premium foundation cushion matte. This is the product I bought from Japan and I super love this. You just need to dab it on your skin. You see? And the eyebrows using this K palette. I love this one. What I usually do is just follow the patterns of my brows. It's just like drawing another layers of hair just to make it full. You see? 
it's not as hard so all you have to do is just follow the patterns of your brows and draw it draw the hairs to make it look natural using the highlighter to cover those eye bags nasty nasty eye bags to thoroughly hide it and then I use my normal press powder just to give it like a powdery finish For the blush and my lip tint, I would use this Cocoa Butter Balm. It's organic. It's good for my skin. I really love this one. It's the same as the lip and cheek tint. But this one is my favorite. It smells good also. And it gives me that natural blush look. Like the natural rosy cheeks also. It just adds color to my pale face. I just have to even it out. And also it's the same tone for my lips. Look, it's the same color. Just a pinkish blush look, making it more natural. So to illuminate my natural look, I apply this shade as somewhat like um, eyeshadow, just to glow it up a bit. And it's very important for me to have this nose line, and I only use this as a nose line to make it more natural. I apply a very thin eyeliner because I want to make it look natural so that's why I don't want to draw it too thick to achieve that natural look Don't forget to curl up those lashes. And 
apply a mascara, of course, to brighten those eyes with long lashes using mascara. I think we've already achieved a day makeup. You know that, you know you look. It's a I call it like a subtle sultry. It's a subtle sultry, and of course, you have to match it up with the, with your hair and the right pair of earrings. And for me, I always wear pearl to be safe. But of course, you don't want to like you don't want to look a little bit conservative or too prim and proper with the pearls. So that's why I chose a gold dangling pearl or any dangling ears to do since you're going to wear your hair long. Um, I sass it up with a dangling pearl. So for me, dangling earrings are like sultry, you know, and it's visible when I'm wearing my hair down. So I'm now ready to go. And you know what? This you get this makeup. I can also go out at night time looking like this. <laughs>